On behalf of the seminarians, faculty, and staff of St. John's Seminary, I wish you and your families a blessed and joyful Easter. One of the most striking gospel accounts of the resurrection is the moment our risen Lord first appeared to his disciples in the upper room as recounted in the 20th chapter of John's Gospel. Overwhelmed by fear and uncertainty, the disciples were joined by Jesus on the evening of that first Easter, and his first words to them were, Peace be with you. The doors may have been locked, and the disciples fearful, grieving, and doubtful, but the risen one took the initiative to meet them where they were. Physical restraints will not prevent Jesus' ability to be with his disciples. I believe that Jesus' greeting of peace lies at the heart of the Easter proclamation. Risen from the dead and triumphant over sin, death, and all that alienates us from God and one another, Jesus brings his peace to his disciples. Christ's peace is more than the absence of hostility and war. The peace of Christ is the abundance of God's mercy and forgiveness. It is the peace of reconciliation and right relationship that God has brought about through the death and resurrection of His Son. On Good Friday, we proclaim that we adore Christ and bless Him because by His cross He has redeemed the world. Peace describes the reconciliation and redemption, the forgiveness and friendship of God that the risen Christ has won for us. After they saw and recognized the wounds on his hands and side, the disciples' fear gave way to joyful faith. But that was only the beginning. Repeating his greeting, peace be with you, Jesus made it clear that he brings and gives peace that the world cannot give. Through his passion and death and resurrection, Jesus blesses us with the fullness of God's peace. But this is not a peace that we can keep and enjoy for ourselves. Jesus' gift of peace is for mission in the world. As the Father has sent me, so I send you, he tells them, and us. Jesus speaks not only to the disciples then, but to disciples now, to you and to me. Receiving the gift of God's peace and the Holy Spirit that Jesus breathes on his disciples, we are empowered to go into the world to proclaim and share God's peace, mercy, and forgiveness. Here at St. John's Seminary, we are particularly aware of the mission the risen Christ gives us. With you, we rejoice in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We join our prayers to yours, to the risen Lord, Prince of Peace, for an end of war and for peace to spread throughout our world. We also join our prayers with the rest of the church and continue to entrust and consecrate ourselves, the church and all humanity, especially Russia and Ukraine, to the Immaculate Heart of our Blessed Lady, Queen of Peace. We pray that the love, joy, and peace of the Holy Spirit that Christ breathes on us will be more and more manifest in our lives and make us more effective proclaimers of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Christ is risen. He is truly risen. May he breathe his Holy Spirit on you all and bless you with his peace. Happy Easter.